Now, this is probably the most excited I've ever been about doing a video. Um, most of you know which boots are in here. Um, living in Qatar, I always get things that a little bit later, but these arrived from Pro Direct today. So, super excited to show them to everyone. And obviously, you know, the first thing I'm going to say about the archive boot is the box. They've done such a fantastic job on the box. This one, it's always nice when a limited edition gets that sort of special treatment from Adidas. So, let's open up and see what comes inside the box. Okay, so, oh. First of all, uh, really nice of Kempe and Henson to drop this picture for me. You know, Henson at 2DL Boot Room, thanks for buying our boot, you will love it. Sorry about the blue colour, but that's all on Henson. She expect you. And then Henson's for you, 2DL, I love the X, I love the LZ, I love the Pred, I love blue, job done, cheers Henson. So, thanks guys, really appreciate that nice little touch for you putting that picture in the boot for me. So here is the Predator Archive back. Now this is one of the most controversial boots I think we're ever going to see. Some people absolutely love it, some people hate it, you know, people have called it the Frankenstein boot, the Marmite boot, whatever you want to call it. For me it's an absolutely fantastic project from Adidas, a great collaboration using two of the biggest Predator heads out there. You know, those guys, everything for them about football boots is about the Predator. I'm fortunate enough to have known the two guys, Chris and Henny, for a long, long time. Uh, good friends. So, for those guys who work on a project like this, for any collector to be working on a project like that is unbelievable. So, you know, well done to Adidas for getting those two involved. And the boot they've constructed is, you know, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. And I know people have been like, when the first pictures came out, people were slagging it off on social media. And now they've heard the story about how the boot was actually put together using Chris and Henny. That's the Pred Collective and the Pred Pro, by the way, in case you don't know. Uh, now that you've heard their story and how they were working for, from the very start, and what done, you know, people have really bought into the idea. And I think it's, you know, kudos to Adidas for using them in the first place. And it's good that the collectors and the other boot heads out there are really taking it on board. The boot itself, obviously we've got a mashup of loads of different types of Predator in here. You know, the right boot here, we've got the Absolute on the side. Uh, we've got the Pulse, the Yin Yang Pulse on the bottom. Hinson, you still owe me for that one. Okay, so the Yin Yang Pulse on the side. And then down here, we've got the new rubber elements of the Pred 20, which will be out, I think it's the 20th or 21st of this month. And they've put them in the same style as the Pulse to go along with the Yin Yang Predator down the side here. And on the front, you can't really see it, but they've got from the Predator 95 Cup Rapier, uh, whatever you want to call it, They've got sort of the snake skin on the front of there, which is a really, really nice touch on it. Obviously, we've got the added effect of the new Prime Net collar, which again we'll be seeing on the, well, allegedly we'll be seeing on the new Prime Net um, Predator 20 that's coming out. Split sole plate on the bottom again, I believe is something we're going to see in the new Predator coming out. Uh, I love the way they've done the finish on this one. Really, really nice look to it. And, you know, the right boot is fantastic in this one. So moving on to the left, let me just get rid of the box here. Put the that down there. Moving on to the right boot. Now, so we've got the X on it. Now, if you're a Predator fan, except Hinson, you, you don't really rate the X, you know. If you like the X, you're a rugby player. I've been watching an interview that Chris did and Henny did on Pro Direct. I think it's quite true. Rugby players seem to love the Pred X. Footballers, not so much. But, you know, the design on the side of the boot is from the Pred X and it actually looks, you know, really good on it. actually looks better on the trainers and I'll show you that, uh, the trainer shortly. But yeah, really, really nice finish there on it. On the other side, we've got one of my favourite Predator football boots, not the LZ. Okay, here and here, we've got the Predator Power Strap. Now, after the Precision, the Accelerator and the Mania, which are everyone's three favourite pretty much if you're a certain generation, the Power Swerver is one of the best Predators to wear. I love the Predator Power Swerver. I had got a pair in 2008 when I was in Qatar uh, in the OG colourway. I absolutely loved them. Great football boot. And it's so nice to see that they've put some of that el the elements into here. You know, these are genuine elements put into these football boots. So from 2008, this would be the same tooling, same everything that the Predator, that Adidas put on the Power Swerver, they've put in here. And, you know, hence, and I know this one is you, the Power Swerver from the Beckham collection, you know, that it looks fantastic. It's just crazy putting a silver and gold there, a chrome and gold, on a blue football boot. You know, really, really looks fantastic. I love the red sock on this. You know, just again, it's just something completely different. The black sock on the right boot, the red sock on the left boot, again, gives a little bit of vibe going back to the original Predator colorways. But the boot is fantastic. You know, the 
everything about it. Yes, it's crazy, and yes, it's out there, and I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, this football boot, but for me, it's just so many nice little touches on it. I, I was watching a video the other day, and Hinson was saying about, this is going back to the Predator X having the little Adidas sign on the heel of it. This one here, I think, was going back. I can't remember which Predator that was going back to, but on the heel there. So, you know, they've really done their homework on it. You know, Hinson posted on social media, looking at asking for everyone for their three favourite Predators of all time. And that was about a year, year and a half ago he did that. So people were filling it in, not really knowing what they were doing. And as it turns out, that was getting all the information together, using their own research, so that everyone was having a little input into what Predators they wanted to see on this archive pack. So for me, absolutely fantastic. You know, really, really love it. Now, the, uh, the only controversial thing, apart from the whole mashup thing, is the colorway. Now, I know it's from the Addy Power launch colorway, that's where the blue comes from. And you know, in a few forums that I'm in, chatting to people about it, and on Instagram and stuff like that, people have been saying they wish it was the black colorway or you know any other colorway apart from the blue, because blue is not really some, a color that you think of. It doesn't scream predator to a lot of people. All I will say is, it's a talking point, you know? It's a big, big talking point. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the blue, however, I just love the fact that it's on this project and it's something that's got people talking about it. It's got different people have different opinions. People wanted this to be all black, you know, to go with the OG colorway of black, red and white. With the new Predator coming out, not sure that would be such a hot idea because it, people would prefer this to the new boot that's coming out potentially. And, you know, these aren't cheap. If £300 a pair, or 350 euros, I think it's $350 as well. You know, they're not a cheap football boot to have. So with this boot coming out and then the new Pred coming out in a week or so's time, you know, I think it's good that they've gone for something completely different. You know, I, I do blame Hinson for that. You know, most of you know he's never Tonian. So I think he'd love it. I'd take any opportunity to get blue on a boot that he possibly could. But as a talking point, you know, the blue is on there as something that you might love it, you might hate it. It doesn't scream Predator. But together, the two of them, I think the guys have done an outstanding job. I know Jorm has been involved in there as well, uh, really pushing the project forward as well. Great job for me, you know. We're in the, what, the second, third week of January, and I'll be surprised if there's a better boot this year released than this one. You know, you know I love my boot of the year countdown in December, uh, and this will be up there. I know that categorically, this will be up there because of the way it's been made, the guys that are involved in it, the general idea behind it all, I, it's gonna take one hell of a boot to top this project. And that's not just looking at the aesthetic side of things, just looking on everything in general. Yes, it's limited edition, but it's 2,000 pairs, so it wasn't like Adidas thought, let's make it stupidly limited to 100 pairs and make it impossible to get and watch the resellers throw it on eBay for, you know, 1,000, 2,000 pounds and stuff like that. The whole project's been great. If you want a pair, you can get out there and buy a pair. People always say when they make it super limited, you know, they can't get them. This boot is limited. You can still buy it. It's on Pro Direct. It's on Unisport. So anyone that's interested, get on there and buy them. You will not be disappointed. The leather is incredible on them. The actual boot himself, if you go to wear them, and I'm sure we'll see people wearing them very soon on the professional pitches, they're going to love it. So if you're looking for a Predator boot, you want that feel of an old school Predator, you, this boot's going to be a sensational feel on the pitch, let's be honest, because you're going to get a bit of the Absolute, a bit of the new Predator, a bit of the Power Swerve, forget the X. You know, you've got everything on there that you want. So if you've tried these on pitch, please email me or please DM me and let me know what you think of them. Take some pictures. I'd love to share pictures of these boots on foot because for me, what an outstanding boot. I will mention quickly, this is the LZ, enough said, okay? So, great boot. Love it, well done Henson, well done Kempe, absolutely brilliant job from you boys. Now, I did also buy these, which are the Ultra Boost version of the shoes. Exactly the same upper on there, really, really nice. But I actually bought these to wear, I haven't worn them yet, obviously. I just got them the other day. So, fantastic, great to see a trainer so on every day. Uh, use as well. I saw Kempe wearing these on Soccer AM, they tried to put it in top bins, didn't quite get there, did you? So, Again, look fantastic on foot. Great project from the guys. Absolutely love it. Watch the videos on Pro Direct. Watch the video on Unisport with the interviews of those guys because, you know, their insight into making this boot is really, really interesting. You know, the boot's fantastic. The story's even better. So, by all means, guys, job well done. 
Thanks for watching this video on DL Bootroom. I hope you're really enjoying it. I'm really loving making these videos for people. So please support it with a like. You know, tag some friends and that'd be really much appreciated. So thanks very much. So until the next time, well done guys on these Pred Archives. Absolutely love them.